on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, now let's get to the whole internship thing. Izuku, though he has shown a lot of potential, battle prowess and everything, he doesn't really get that many offers, actually. If anything, eh, him still being quirkless and him seemingly uh, a brute in the way he handled things, especially Bakugo, yeah, not too many people will really care for that. So, he ends up just like, no, I forget. But you did get some offers. I don't care if anything. Just, this means I can train more and get stronger. That's what I'm going to do. Which, yes, he is running from building to building. Though Tylon does want to be there. He's busy with his own type of training. And much to his surprise, he actually comes across the hero killer. Actually, in the middle of trying to kill a hero. But he's a good being the way he is, still having somewhat of a hero mentality. He bursts on the scene and I can't let you do that. What you uh me? What, what do you mean? What, what is that supposed to mean? Do you know me so? Yes. Sports festival. Heard your little speech to that uh, kid with a brainwashing quirk. Oh, what about it? Hmm. You seem very adept when it comes to fighting. You seem like someone who could handle himself. Someone who could really be a hero. Yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> well, how about this? Help me. What? Help me. Come on. I... As the heroes get out of here, I'll handle him. Don't listen to him. Come on, uh, young Midoriya, was it? Join me. We can purge this world of false heroes. Selling the title. That was bestowed upon them foolishly. We can show the world what heroes should really be like. You're a murderer. <sighs> yes, I do dabble in that. Why should I help someone so malicious? So I do believe that this world is full of fake heroes. The way you're doing it isn't right. <laughs> okay, I can understand why you would think that just because I axed off a of few. In fact, I, if anything, have you received a thank you card from Ingenium yet? What? Oh, yes. You know, Ingenium, the guy with engines and yada yada yada. <laughs> it's actually funny because I was just about to say you were going to kill him. No. I was going to do something worse. I was going to make sure he could never be a hero again. <laughs> that would have... <laughs> Oh man, okay, so yeah, those legs won't be able to do anything but be placeholders. If this is your way trying to get me to join you, you got a weird way of showing 
Oh no, it's just... If I could take on a pro heroes... What makes you think I can't just kill you, then kill him, and be on my merry way? I'm trying to give you a chance here to join the winning side. Come on. We can usher in a new era of heroes together. One where true heroes like all oh might. Is yes, Izuku, his chief there is such a point for Looks like I struck a nerve. Oh my. <laughs> You're a true hero, huh? If only you knew about him. What? You know what they say, never meet your heroes. Trust me, if I thought of Elmay as a hero, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. Uh, uh, why do I f feel so scared? No, 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 no. This, you know, he's just a kid, there's no way. As Stain runs in to try to attack Izuku, but then he stops in his tracks. As Izuku is just staring at him. He's like, why, why can't I move? <sighs> so it actually does work. What? Hmm. If anything, I do agree with you on one thing about fake heroes. You just need a new way to tell people. Maybe you should have become a hero and show them how it was done. But no. You decided to kill people. You deem as false heroes, huh? And what did he do precisely to be classified as a fake hero? Bribes. Really? It was just an uh, under the table deal. Huh. Call it what you will. Hmm. As yes, Izuku takes one of Stain's knives. Hmm. You need to treat your blades better. Uh, you just point at the hero. Get up and get out of here. Call from uh, heroes or policemen. Well, I have a little chat with Mr. Stain here. The hero running off is just terrified at Izuku's sheer presence. Stain. So, is this how I die? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. That depends on what happens next. My mood. Whether I could uh, spare you or finish you off. All depends. Uh, I look at your eyes. You look like you've killed before. Technically, no. But, eh, kind of, sort of. Poor thing was brain dead, so I, if anything, I put it out of his misery. Why do you seem so different? Hmm? The air around you has changed. Has it? If that's so, I kind of like it. Makes me feel... I don't know, how should I put this? What would be the best way to describe this feeling? Hmm. Any ideas? 
Oh, wait. I know just the word. Liberating. As then, Izuku's golden-ish green chi just starts to turn to a dark, bloody crimson red with hints of ashy and uh, midnight black. Stain seeing something that really puts the fear of God into him. But then as soon as he's about to decide what he's going to do with Stain, this is when police and other heroes show up. Izuku snapping back into reality is as Stain is finally freed, but then he, he just jets off straight towards the heroes and the police. They, I surrender. Them surprised, as they look at Izuku, him... Wait, what happened? Stain hearing that is... He's changed again. That's problematic. As they take Stain and he is carted off to prison. And yes, that is how Izuku's whole internship arc ends. Him pretty much be like, what the hell happened? I saw Stain, I'm alive. I mean, on one hand, that's a good thing, but on the other hand, what happened to me? As yes, this is pretty much like everyone's talking about how yes, Hizuku did technically capture the hero killer. The reason why he didn't get much flack or trouble is because it's really quirk usage that's been very heavily, you know, restricted. You can be vigilante and whatnot, but still, it's it's really. Kind of like a citizen's arrest type thing. If anything, he says he could just pretty much restrain, didn't really use any quirks or anything, nothing showing of any injuries or force. Yeah, everything's good. But he still feels uneasy. Like something's not right. He, he doesn't know what to really classify this as except for huh, something terrifying he doesn't know how he really captured Stain all he knows is that yeah Stain's been captured that's and that's all that mattered but you can't help but have this sneaking feeling that something is not right. That, huh, something has changed. Not to the point where it's like, uh, okay, I, I am looking any different. But it's the fact that he's change to a point where he doesn't really recognize himself anymore. He looks in the mirror and he sees him, but he doesn't recognize everything. Almost as if that's not him anymore. Hmm. If that makes any sense. But... Uh, nothing to worry about. It's not like anything bad is gonna happen. That's, you know, nothing that's gonna make him snap into nonsensical bullfuckery. And, you know, <laughs> of course not. This is me. The wholesomeness. Oh hell, I can't even say that with a straight face, can I? But now let's get to the whole test. And yes, it's just like before. It's All Might versus Bakugo and Izuku. Only thing is, All Might. Seeing the change compared to how he first met Izuku. Yeah, he's wondering what the hell is going on here. Bakugo is a 
above everyone else is like, what the hell? You've changed so much. And this is the Deku's I remember. You see, you're being pissed as hell as soon as he gets called that name. Believe me, who wouldn't? But at the end of the day, <laughs> Izuku is still himself, as far as I can tell. But, let's think here. He knows all my secret. He knows Bakugo can really go up against All Might, even though he is weaker. So, <clears throat> what can he do here? Should he actually help, or should he... Hmm. Oh, right. That's... Considering Yuzuku does know All my secret. <laughs> he could be All Might to sleep in pure exhaustion to the point where he has to debuff or stay completely still just to keep that facade. Thing is, Bakugo, he wants a complete and utter victory. So, what's gonna happen there? Huh. Yeah, let's just say Izuku is willing to compromise. He's gonna make All Might admit defeat. What better way to issue in a series of nerve attacks only to keep him still but completely and utterly dominating him by aiming straight at his side over and over and over again but the more he does it the more sadistic he becomes in rubbing it in all my face everyone else is wondering what the hell is going on Bakugo is even shocked at how Izuku has become a sadistic asshole compared to the lovable cinnamon broccoli head role he used to be until enough him looking and seeing Tai Lung is there yeah. I come back from my journey of discovery and to find this. Uh, Master? What are you doing here? Apparently stopping you from making a very foolish decision. Release him. But he's so do it. Or am I going to have to do it myself? Uh, yes, since As then Izuku allows All Might to move again and All Might says is over. You, you win. And who and you you're the one who trained him. Yes. I do believe I I am. Uh well I and you must be this all might person. The one who hmm, for lack of a better word, led him down his path. I, I let me rephrase. You made it so he is the way he is now. Uh, I, I suppose I did have a hand in it. Yes, you did. Oh, number one hero, you, you're not too bright. You truly need to think about how you re, you know, really word your. Th hmm. How should I put this? 
you are the number one hero, you should act accordingly. Your words carry a lot more weight than a smaller time hero would. Right, I, I, I understand that. Well, at the very least, Young Midoriya, come. You have more training to do. Uh, yes, oh, Master. Everyone pretty much like, what the hell just happened? Someone just literally crashed the party and like, that's no guy who trained Izuku. Ojiro was pretty much like, okay. Thank God he got there, because it was getting dark. But now, for his training arc. <laughs> because the whole thing, when Izuku does arrive there, everyone is looking at him sideways, considering his brutality and sadistic nature is starting to get more and more frequent. Instead of him being more kind-hearted, it's more malicious. But as soon as it comes to the Wild Wild Pussy Cats, he does somewhat fanboy out, which puts them at ease. But then he snaps back into reality. He's like, wait, this is a trap. As he just jumps out of the way and actually grabs on to Pixie Bob. I know that doesn't really sound too bad, but considering where he grabs her, she's screaming and... Uh, not controlling her core nearly as well to the point where she gets swallowed up by her own landslide. Her actually being pissed off at Izuku. But him was like, Did you like it? <laughs> no! That was. I. Uh. Man, that was. You did! Your hesitation just proves my point. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go. As, yes, Izuku, he actually... He traverses the terrain a lot easier. Pixie Pop actually makes it harder for him, just out of spite. But then again, if someone was come to feel of you, without your permission, you'd be pissed off too. <laughs> you'd want to get back at them some way, somehow, just... Regardless if you actually enjoyed it or not. Them's just the facts. But as soon as he gets there, their surprise is like, wait, you're already here? Yeah. Are you, why do you seem shocked? Uh, it, it, it should have taken you longer. You should have arrived around such and such this time. It's like, wait, but did you guys say, well, well, yeah, that was for us. That's how long it will have taken us to get there. Well, get here. <laughs> wait, so you're saying I I got here at the same time pro heroes would have? You see, you're actually feeling pride when he hears that. But as soon as everyone else shows up, he, they're pissed off at him. And then he knows his old Raka. She, she's pretty much like, all pouty. Him just says and gets like, Okay, what's wrong? Nothing. You sure you seem upset for some reason? Well, you ditched us. No, I just got here first. Excuse me? Well, I did. But this is where the Gakure is that you still didn't have to leave us like that. Yeah. And you technically don't have to parade around naked for your hero costume. But you do that, don't you? You dare. You should apologize to Snipe. You know he didn't mean to do that. But I, uh, well, he, uh, like he doesn't know, he didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> if anything, he's kind of the victim here. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's right. You got nothing to say. 
when it comes to Coda, Izuku does try to say hi, but as soon as Coda goes for the nut shot, he, it's like, no. Mm-mm, I, I am not, I, that that is not okay, kid. I don't care who you are, you are not hitting me in the jewels. You can't, you can't hit him in the jewels, though, just pointing at Mineta. What if I want to hit you? You can try, but you're pretty much going to fail every time. As yes, Mineta is unsuspecting when it comes to the onslaught of his genitals, which makes it even more funny. At least, to me, it does. Uh, however, when it comes to him trying to people on the girls, it, same thing happens. One thing was when Koda looks, Izuku's already there and saves him. Uh, I should have known you wouldn't be able to resist. <laughs> what? No, no, I did not need you. I'm kidding, you child. I, I'm. I understand. If anything, heck, you forgot what you were doing when it comes to guarding the girls is, you know, uh, you're you're not. I'm not calling you a pervert. Don't worry. Yeah. If anything, just remember where you are because considering the fact that you actually got a peek of everything, you. You are right now living that preferred great juices fantasy. I, I, mm, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one who's getting peeped on. Him pretty much said, go to Mandalay. Her giving Izuku the whole explanation. Well, Koda is just being silent as all hell. Only very much showing any kind of real <sighs> emotion when it comes to his parents and muscular. Izuku sees how this hurts him. He feels sorry for Koda. So he actually provides Koda with... A deal. <sighs> I can't get you to like heroes much as I did. But what if I say I can bring this muscular guy to justice? What? <sighs> if anything, it might take a while, but I will try my best to make sure that he pays for his crimes. Really? Yeah, I mean, it may take a while, but still. You need to learn that, yes, heroes do sometimes leave behind their families. They don't always have, have the luxury of making it back unscathed or, you know... The reason why they would give their lives is because, not really because they're, it's their job. Plenty of heroes could just run away when you see that a villain is too much for them. But your parents decided to stay and... <sighs> they didn't want to leave you. I, I can say that without a shadow of a doubt. They did not want to leave you. As yes, Manley is trying not to shed a tear. Oh, Gura just tries to fight back his, but failing. Him trying to lean in to hug Izuku. Hmm. Don't worry. I don't care how long it takes. He will pay for his sins. Even if I had to go to hell to... You know, framed by the devil himself. <laughs> yeah. 
of anything. It will because of, be because of me and you that he pays for his crimes. He may not be there when it happens, but he's not going to get away with what he did. As, yeah, that's how their little exchange goes. Now to the attack, shall we? Like I said before, the League of Villains didn't really get that many people. So, let's say Spinner, Toga, Twice, and Dobby aren't a part of it. Big Sis Mag, which I still can't believe was still a woman. <laughs> Me, that was like... Oh, y'all wrong for that. Don't get me wrong. I'll be like, what? I'll be like, no, that's a weird villain name. But yeah, Sis Mag, she's still there. Still, still sounds weird saying that. But Izuku pretty much not wanting any of that. He's pretty much one shining her. Though she does complain, like, you would hit a woman? Like, you're a woman? She's like, yes. Do you need proof? No, I don't. Believe me. I, if you say you're a woman, fine. But yes, I would. These hands are ready to eat for everyone. That's so misogynist. No, it's not. I'm tr well, why do this? I, I see you as my equal. Like, like you, like you won't, right? You, you can't you can't just uh, want equality and then when it benefits you, but then go back to being a female when it gets tough. That's not equality. Uh, exactly. This is group knocking out Big Sis Mag. Melee talking about how Koa's not there. Izuku's like, don't worry, I'll find him. In which, yes. Izuku, he comes across Koa, and he is terrified. He's right there, face to face with his parents' killer. And Izuku, being how he is, he charges in there like a battle hell, right when Muscular knocks Koa off the cliff. Him narrowly being able to catch him and fall into the forest. Muscular, seeing that, like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Him holding out a picture of Izuku. <laughs> oh, this is too easy. <laughs> Him putting the picture back and heading in force after them. And it's considering that he doesn't have one for all, but he is enhanced by Chi, he does end up protecting Koda by using his own body as a cushion. He does end up getting slightly hurt, but not so much that he still can't fight and run off if need be. So he runs right up to Aizawa. He's, okay, villain attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please give us permission to use our quirks. I'm going to have to deal with that lumbering buffoon coming after me. As well as... Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, nothing. It's just... Huh. You look different. Really? I don't feel any different. No, no, it's just... Uh, never mind. If anything, yes. Uh, you can, uh, use your quirks. Well, wait. You don't have one. Wait, were you gonna? Were you just gonna fight him regardless of if I get permission or not? Yes. As Koda, he says he wants to stay and watch this fight, regardless of the outcome. <sighs> Listen, kid. As much as I would love for you to be a part of this, it's too dangerous for you, and I don't want to risk your life. But that's what heroes do. What? I want to try being uh, You want to be a hero? 
I don't know. But at the very least, I want to be one of the people who uh, can cheer you on. To help you give you at least moral support. And Aizawa looking is Izuku. He's, like, he's looking back at Aizawa like, should I? Should we? Aizawa, uh, flip a coin. Heads, he stays. Tails, he goes with you. Heads, Kuna gets to watch. Uh, wait, that doesn't sound right. Either way, then Muscular shows up. And he sees Kuna still alive. He's like, oh. Oh, seriously. Come on. You're giving me another chance to kill this kid? Wow, you are generous. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's just get this over with so I can get this kid to safety. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Fine. Whatever. Uh, but first, as he just takes off his artificial eye and puts in the quirk enhancer... And Izuku is not really scared because he don't know the real scope of it. But he knows he needs to be cautious. What makes this even worse is considering that he has to protect Koda because Muscular will do that slick shit and try to attack him at the same time. And this battle is going on for a lot longer than it should have. To the point where Izuku is starting to run low on energy. Muscular as well. The only thing is, Muscular has some more stamina compared to Izuku. While Izuku is pretty much using the chi to enhance his body, his strength, speed, as well as his overall huh, attributes. Muscular not having it, but having a quirk enhancer to pretty much boost himself, though it does drain his energy a little bit faster. He's not using as much concentration and energy as Izuku is, which actually draws out the fight even longer. Koda not really helping, pretty much considering that he's not strong enough to actually help in the fight. But at the very least, more support all the way. But this is when something unexpected happens. Something falls out of Muscular's pocket. A picture of Izuku. But then he sees something under it. As the wind that that, that fight is causing is starting to push past his poster, the little picture. What he sees is Inko. Only difference is compared to Izuku's picture where he, it's just his little picture or whatnot. This one of Ingo is not very good looking. He sees a battered, beaten up, cut up Ingo in this photo. Him looking and he gets sucker punched by Muscular who's like, oh wait, Oh, damn it. I'm so absorbed by the fire, I didn't even notice. Him picking it up was a like, Wait, you saw it, didn't you? Uh, huh. Well, as then Muscular just picks up Izuku by the neck and slams him into the side of the mountain. Take a good look at it. Izuku seeing that yes, Ingo is bound in a chair, beaten to near unrecognizableness. Is Izuku is starting to feel intense rage right now, while Muscular is continuously trying to point out differences in the photo compared to how 
she was to how it was when he left. Notably, he points out that Inko is now missing one of her, her eyes. And this sets Deku off the deep end. <laughs>